Me and Lee are at Awesome GTI again with the RS3 this time. This car, we've got to get rid of this arch gap because that's massive. I've already had the wheels done. My RD custom wheels have been refurbished by Rada and they put the Kyle Army green in the forge bit, which I think look mega. It has had the satin green PPF, a bigger carbon spoiler, my evil P plate, my green seat belts, and of course, our evil GT cars window sticker. We've got a racing line carbon induction kit and an OEM Plus tuning box. There's no performance modifications that we can do to this just yet, but I thought it was about time now that we got it lowered. When I had my 8V RS3, so the previous generation to this one, I lowered that on a set of normal lowering springs, but it lowered it too much. But after that, I had to get some height adjustable springs for the 8V because the wheels were catching. And I've done exactly the same for this one because the car rides amazingly well. And the KWs on my 8V rode unbelievably well as well. So I'm hoping that I get the same thing for this. Creeping Jesus, what have we got to say about that? These are more expensive than a normal set of lowering springs. They're about £300 more, but in my opinion, if you've got the extra money to spend on some high adjustables, then definitely do it. You're not worried? Why? You can't lie. No, mate, I know that Greg's a professional. You know what you're doing, don't you, mate? Plus the fact it also says it in the destructions here, so... Um, so yeah, it says that them, them bits need to come so out. So that has to be ground away yeah. to get that in. That's so it. So it fits over properly. Yeah. So even though it's a modified part, you've still got to modify the car to fit the modified part. Yeah, so I think what, what I've now also done is not only have I probably voided the warranty on my brakes, uh, definitely on my engine, uh, and now I've also on my suspension. Why is that bit in there? The top mount has a slot here with that lines up with there. Yeah, and then see this line and these two arrows they need to sit sort of like that in the car which would then give that angle out as if you put it in that way it'd be angled the wrong way and the sort of sits incorrect it's so people get it get it right from the factory okay. here at evil gt we always have a little hack on a video mm -hmm. so what we decided to do is to retain the warranty yeah get the black paint yeah spray the spring so it looks like that then when it goes back into Audi for some suspension issues, you can get the warranty. So you're going to spray the purple bits as well then? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. That paint there will do all of this stuff. That's I'd fine. Yeah, yeah, that's fine me, that mate. Go for it. Yeah, I'll, I'll film you doing it so at least I've got evidence that it wasn't me that did it. Fucking worse, mate. That's how you're up, innit? <laughs> what, what's happened there? You'll probably settle. So basically, what's happened here is Greg's dropped a bollock, right? Whoa, 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 whoa. And... <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to right there. <laughs> well, I'm going around here, can't hear you. Uh, so what I did say was, I thought that I read somewhere that whatever the minimum drop was on there was still lower than the factory. And I was like, that's fine, because I don't want it to be massively low anyway. Uh, so Greg's listened to me because he's an idiot and he's done exactly that and we've just read the instructions and it's made, it literally says zero, look at this. RS3, I don't know what GY is supposed to mean, four wheel drive, but then it literally says zero to 15 mil on the front. So because I said put it at whatever the minimum drop is, the minimum drop is zero and then the rear is zero to 20, so maybe 10 mil, Greg. I'm uh, doing what I want now. <laughs> look at Now that. we are talking, so some hell performance brake lines for me car in green that's perfect as well that color this what are we saying one. yeah i'll make them up for you mate legend <laughs> put it down properly you muppet <laughs> there we go that's perfect that jed all right now you're <laughs> how many mate. millimeters is that a 10. Not that much nice one jed thanks so that's like double his dick listen <laughs> When we was in Germany last week, Jeff has left us a little present here in the boot. I've got an idea what it is, but I'm going to ask someone else. Like a toy car or something. So I reckon it's a green. Well, it's one of these. Do you reckon? Yeah, no I way. reckon. Oh. What is it? It's a C63. C63. <laughs> Thank you very much, Back Jeff. I in the I've sold it, yeah. podcast man cake. It's a bib for you. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I, is it me that has to look the knobhead? Yeah, here we are. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff. <laughs> Do you know what? <laughs> uh, there's our thumbnail. Kevin and Perry. Kieran, thank you very much. They no are 
Amazing. So these will fit bang on. All I've got to do Absolutely. now is convince Greg to actually put them on for me. Don't run off, mate. Don't run off. Greg, don't run off. Where are you going now? Tongue out there, Greg. That's why you can't get it off. What millimetre inch did you go for with this, Greg? Slam. You yeah, no idea, to, to match the front. This will definitely match the front. Are you yeah. sure? Mm -hmm. I just didn't do what you said. <laughs> I've took these little arch guard thought. things. I don't even know what they're for. What are they for, Jed? He's an absolutely no idea, is he? <laughs> My old tyres, the Bridgestones, when I put the spaces on, were catching, even on at, like the standard ride height. Are you doing that the wrong way round? Oh, taking my handbrake off. That's oh, made. That's Well, happy with that. That looks mint. All good. Rubbing. Where's it rubbing? It's not rubbing. It's not rubbing? Yeah. Happy days. Yeah, I'm really happy with that, how it sits. Hopefully you guys uh, like the look of it as well. I say hopefully, it doesn't really matter. It's not your car, is it? But what I would say, again, I've recommended them a few times, but the KW adjustable springs, for me, pay the extra money and get them because they give you the adjustability if you've not quite got it right the first time, but also the ride quality is, is literally night and day different in my opinion. So, uh, so yeah, there you Alfred's go. Alfords is that way. Alfords. So just explain to us what how, what you'll do with your modifications on your car, mate. We're doing an exhaust. Not exactly Halfords special, is it? Why? What's Halfords about that? Yeah. This when it come out of the factory, Audi spent millions on production, yeah. uh, research, development, and then you go and Halfords it. And you think that McLaren didn't spend millions on research and development? For you I'm to only decatting it. It's not a big deal, is it? I'm not lowering it. I'm not changing the wheels. I'm not putting green in the wheels. I'm not putting a spoiler on the back. I'm not doing um, a satin PPF. I'm not doing green seat belts. So that car is near enough done, right? We don't have to do any more on that. No. Can we do? Can we do mine now? We can do yours now, mate. Yeah. So if you watched the previous video on the M3, you'll know it's got a dodgy alternator, i.e., it's broke. And Jamie is doing the alternator, aren't you, Jamie? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. But you are not a BMW. You train technician, are you? Not in the slightest, no. So this car actually sounds like it's working pretty good, but it's not because it needs a jump pack. It's definitely not in the best of health, but after today, this is going to be back getting close to a brand new car. When we was at the ring, the red light come on on the dash to say something wrong with the battery. But does that mean the alternator is actually broke? Red light comes on. Does that mean that the alternator is broke? Check if it's okay. charging. No, it's not charging because we change batteries that were charged, then they become flat. Yeah. So let's see if it's charging and then see what the output is at the alternator. Okay, we've not done that, but we forget that. We'll forget that. We've yeah. Bi we've bypassed that. Yeah, yeah, we've gone past that. Bit, yeah. We should have checked to see if it was charging, but we know it's not charging because we drove 500 miles to Germany and it wasn't charging, was it? So surely charging. it's the alternator, it's got to be. Well, yeah, because we put other batteries on that were charged, put it in this, 45 minutes later they then become not charged. All right, well, we've taken parts off cars before and then realised the part that we're putting on is not the same one, so we're just going to check this. This one looks exactly the same as that, yeah? Yeah, yeah looks, it goes about there, Sorry. in that rough position. We go Remy Special. You're not bad. So the red light's gone off, that's a good sign, right? Yeah. The car's running off its own battery now. Right. It's not got much juice in the battery, so the red light needs to stay off. Yeah. And it's off. Yes. It is off. I mean, your fuel light is definitely on, I can see that from here. Yeah, but, but the battery light is off. And that just shows you that we do know what we're talking about. This is what I'm saying. Last time you checked the dash, how many lights were on it? That one in the middle's gone off. You know the one that you thought was for your brakes? Yeah. Alternator, mate, must have been. It's the tire pressure, that explanation. TP, yeah. Kick the side, see if it goes off. No? No. And really? I don't know what else we've that got would be. 80% of the lights on the dash. Job done. That's it, innit? So, raffle. £34 a ticket, yeah. uh, 10,000 tickets, and uh, it could be yours. Yeah. Can you just press that button there? Yes, that's it, one more light done. What's the TPMS gone off as yeah, well? Yeah. It'll fix anything today, me, consider yeah. I'm no BMW specialist. Start, 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 going, you, man. start going to your gym. So I light it out? Yeah. 
No, I brake lights on. Fog lights on. Oh, it's the other way around. That should be the brake light. So. Oh, you brake, I've got a brake light on. See, you see that, mate? Does see yeah. it? 15 grand, you can have it. It does look like a nice car, that though. Beautiful car. Oh, 499. Oh, 499? Yeah, drop the price on the raffle. That's going to be up for raffle anytime soon. That's it. Perfect. All well done. Meanwhile, at Awesome GTI, your car comes back in. Let's find out what's up with it. What's up, Greg? It's got like a weird knot. It's got a weird, a weird knot. knot. Unlucky, mate. See you later. Bye bye. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. The car's all lowered and looks mint. Lee's just driven off like an absolute yobbo. Uh, he needs to go and get fuel. Alternator sound, thank you very much, Greg. But yeah, thanks very much for watching. Please do like, please do subscribe, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.